Hello everybody, my name is Waterdog, and today I've got some uh, PF4 gameplay um, Operation Metro Rush. I'm using a PKP tech I've been getting into using some of the LMPs lately, and uh, I've noticed that uh, you really, really got to use it a lot to get to, to get to where the to get to where all the good LMPs are. Because like the first starter LMPs aren't very good, but that's not what I wanted to talk about. I wanted to talk about the fact that today is the 24th of March, I believe, and Naval Strike comes out tomorrow. So let's just do a quick recap of the state of battle right I feel like that's a much better state than it. Oh, okay, that stupid sniper. Like it's in the corner of my screen, I couldn't see it. But uh, I feel like Battlefield 4 is in a much better state than it was. So say three months or oh, definitely. Release, but uh, the next still isn't like, where anybody would like to be. It, I don't know what they did to make it so bad. Great but uh, so the first DLC to come out for Xbox One was actually Second Assault and then China Rising. Which I enjoyed China Rising, I hated Al's High Range. I think that's the name of it. I know I hate that map, but I love Silk Road. Silk Road is an all time favorite of Battlefield 4. Um, uh, the, other, the other two maps were okay. Um, second Assault was, it was, all, it was all pretty good. As you see, I'm playing Operation Metro Rush right here, which is one of the only maps you can actually play Rush on, because it's from Battlefield 3. <laughs> I'm just gonna say, the, um, the uh, four maps on Rush are just not awesome. But, uh, hopefully they'll uh, release some DLC with, like, with this new urban pack coming out, um, uh, not, I mean, not after Naval Strike, it's supposed to be, uh, Dragon Seat or something like that. You can send it to some, uh, bad things, maybe, you know. But, uh, anyway, so, I enjoyed Second Assault. I thought that was a, uh, successful DLC launch as I, uh, did my, uh, Second Assault review. I, I thought it was very successful. Um, Naval Strike, from the looks of it, uh, watching videos of Level Path, The Russian Manager, and, uh, Jet Frags, all playing it. It looks to be like a seriously fun set of maps. I mean, because I love Crater Cell Storm. I mean, that's the fan favorite for most of uh, the Battlefield players right now. My fan favorite uh, with the PS4 personally is Shanghai. Uh, I just love the game that's nice for me. Which uh, brings up another question, which I'll get into later, is when will they have custom servers on Xbox One? I mean, I know people are like, I hated custom servers on BF3. I mean, all the admins booted me. I never got, I, I got booted maybe once or twice for killing an admin. I, as much as I played that game once or twice, I don't know what you're doing to make admins so bad. I mean, if they say don't jet ram, just don't freaking jet ram. <laughs> don't be stupid. Um, yeah, that's another question, but I want to stay on topic here. Uh, it's hard to So naval strike looks pretty fun. I love Parasol Storm. I like all the naval combat. And uh, it looks like uh, naval strike is going to be a lot of what I expected. I am glad that they're leaving a little space for infantry, and it seems to be in the center of the map, whereas like all the uh, all the boats and stuff so that would like the be on the outskirts of the map, which is a very good setup. Now, as my preference as a player, I know a lot of Battlefield players out there, I'm going to say about 80% of them don't like vehicles. Like, they like the fact that the vehicles are in the game because it makes it feel more of a, like a more realistic experience. You know, you're not just infantry on infantry. Why would you battle an army, you know, 64, uh, uh, 32 player, you know, army against another 32 player army in infantry? Why would you bring a tank in there? So I feel like it adds another element into it. But I would say 80% of people don't actually like to drive those vehicles or don't know it. Now my personal preference is I love vehicles. If there's a vehicle I can drive, I'll drive it just because I like the fact I like flying helicopters, I like flying jets. And some of these half the people who don't like vehicles don't know how to drive them, which is interesting to me because you know, I can understand BF3 you just like that, but that one just a test print. How many people do not know there's a test print in your BF4 that you can go like you can go uh try any vehicle out or I still do sometimes to get some tricky maneuvers to get with uh 
jets and stuff. I fly under bridges, you know. Do some stunts like that, just to practice. <laughs> that guy just got shot in the face. I haven't even been watching the recording very much, and I just turned around and saw the guy and just was sniped right in the face. Yeah, so uh, I like the way I, I like the way uh, they're going with the DLCs. I think it's getting better. I didn't think Chi I didn't like China Rising too much, other than Silk Road. I mean, Silk Road was an awesome map. I love all the Doom buggy and stuff. Well, I mean, uh, not, is it a Doom buggy or a? It's, it's a dirt bike. Sorry, <laughs> my mistake. Anyways, so I like the way the DLCs are going. I, I hope this works out. Uh, the hovercraft just looks hilarious. I mean, I was watching the Russian Bad video and they're like, yeah, it's a bunch of bump bumper cars, and one of the developers he actually said, yeah, I'm gonna So I'm gonna, I'm gonna look around for when they do finally do traffic service on Xbox One for uh, a bumper car server. <laughs> you know, uh, get the bumper car and have fun on the bumper cars, you won't be able to uh, play on the server, you just get booted. Sounds like a guy here. <laughs> so, uh, I'm just gonna get the bumper car. But, uh, yeah, I like the way you guys, do you think be a success? It looks pretty good right run. now. I don't know what they're going to do with Dragon Steve because they said uh, all out of the world. Sounds pretty interesting. I mean, you can see this guy nice enough. I like the Dollar Breaker. I like both of them now, so I think they can do it. I really want to see like. 100% destructibility because see, Siege of Shanghai is a fun map until the thing falls down, until the tower falls down. And it's still fun after that, just the layout of it is, but it's more fun when it's up. But if you're gonna have one fall down, and be a 5 when the net comes out, so hopefully the net code is fixed for that game, they'll have 100% destructibility because why do you gotta take down the middle tower? Why can't you just take down the one tower? So you can still have that one tower that everybody likes to uh, go to. Close quarter action. But anyways, that's the end of the video. Um, um, blah, 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 blah. So subscribe, and I have more videos coming out soon. I didn't know what to say there. So I'll see you guys later.